In 1922, the Stone Gate Correctional Institution opened its doors to the growing statistic of convicts in the United States. For many years, the Institute served as a model for the rehabilitation of prisoners. But in the late 1940s, a new warden was placed in charge of the facility. However, under the care of Warden Nathaniel Arlen Steed, the number of inmate deaths increased at an alarming rate. And so, the Department of Corrections became concerned. As the investigation of these murders progressed, the death toll rose to over 47 inmates. Then, during the investigation, the Florida Department of Corrections uncovered another gruesome and morbid sight. The bodies of over 20 more men were found in the basement of the Institute, buried in a mass grave. Then, adding insult to injury, a section of the Stone Gate facility suddenly burst into flames burning to the ground in what the fire department determined to be arson. Further information, undisclosed to the public, was that along with the mass grave, the police also found a series of occult paraphernalia, symbols, and instruments. The truth as to what occurred under the supervision of Warden Steed still remains a mystery, and with his death will perhaps never be solved. This is Goldie Summers with Bizarre Cases, signing off. Well, what's this? New fish? Look, I don't want any problems, okay? Oh, that's fine. You don't want any problems with that. I'll, I'll just go. That's fine. Well, tough shit, bitch. Better get used to it. You get used to it, my friend. <laughs> yeah, well... I don't really want to be a part of anyone's gang around here. You don't have to. As long as you stay out of the way and don't talk much, keep your nose clean, and you find Jesus. Are you part of anyone's gang? No. I found Jesus. I told you, if you find Jesus, you'll find peace in any hell. <laughs> Maybe I'll take you up on that. Hey! The top bunk is mine. That's how I stay close to God. Got it. Not that bad. Food sucks, but I sort of expected that. Yeah. Listen. I, I know we had plans. I blame myself for all of this. It's, it's my fault. 
It's okay. I know. It's not that long. I know. We'll just get we'll just get back to things when you get out. Yeah. You okay? <coughs> you should see the other guy. <laughs> I did. No one's ever taken down Tank like that. <laughs> Tank. That's his name, Tank. That's what we call him around here. Fifty bucks says his real name is Sheldon. Yeah, well, I don't think anyone's gonna bother you after, after that. Does stuff like that happen every day? Not every day, but often enough that we have to fight at least one time. There's so much hate in this place. I don't suppose I can report it to the guards, huh? Nope. 
But I'm sure from now on, they'll bet the tank's real name is Sheldon. <laughs> here. What are you talking about? This place. Things happen. Things that just aren't normal. Yeah, I figured that out last night. That was a little out of the ordinary. I'm not talking about that. The basement. Don't go down there. If you get kitchen rotation or laundry duty, stay on the ground floor, okay? Why are you telling me this? Because I've been down there. And you don't forget what you see. Don't mind me asking, how long have you been in here? It's been a year and about three months this Monday. How much longer do you have, if you don't mind me asking? Four months with good behavior. I don't see why not at this point. I have the Lord to keep me company. Yeah, that should work out. Doesn't sound so unreasonable. Nah. Hey, how long do you got here? I was sentenced to two years. Ah, uh, that's small potatoes for a guy around here. You'll get a year and a half. I give you a year, good behavior. Well, seems to me like we better be a pair of angels if we want to get out of here on time. Speaking of which, I got a pair. Damn! <laughs> ah!
Hello? Is anyone there? Hey, you guys. Thought we were past all this. This isn't funny anymore. Rachel, listen to me. I don't have much time. Just listen, okay? What's the matter? Look, there's something strange about this place. I don't know what, but I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, what do you need me to do? I need you to get on the internet. Look up whatever you can about this place. I don't know, history, whatever. Just whatever you can. What are you looking for? I don't know. Anything. Anything that's happened, whatever. Okay. I will. Thank you. I love you.
What was that? I don't know. But you see, this place is hell. That doesn't help, Miguel. Down. Lock it down! There's a riot going on out there. The system isn't letting me. The circuits must be fried. What was that? I've seen some things in this world, but nothing like that. What the hell was it, man? I think you answered your own question, my friend. There are stories about this place. It's full of evil. The man who ran it did terrible things. But what kind of stories? He was responsible for the death of 47 men. They found 20 bodies, but they don't know where the other 27 are. Some big fire killed a lot of people. I think he died too. Or at least that's what they assumed. Miguel, are you telling me that this place is haunted? Do you believe me? No, I don't. But I do believe in them. And you know what? They're telling me that we need to get out of here. <laughs> Easier said than done. Wait a second. If those doors open so easily for us, maybe the other ones will too. What do you mean? Some of the locks here run on an electrical system. Now usually, when there's a storm, the generator turns on and power is back on to the system. But something's wrong here, because the generator hasn't come on yet. I think this is an opportunity to try to go through the doors and get the fuck out of here. 
Yeah, well, a lot of weird stuff has happened today. That's just one more thing. Look, how do you know all of this? I used to be an electrician. This is a basic system. You trip one, you've done them all. All right, now what we gotta do is we gotta go to the control room. The guards are there. They have keys and weapons. We shouldn't run away from the guards. That's our only chance. Yeah, well, under the circumstances, I think they'll understand. Let's go. Get out of here. Get some help. What are you talking about? What are you gonna do? I'm going for her. Are you crazy, man? No. Listen to me. The best thing for you to do is to get to the control room, try to get out of here, call the police, whatever you have to do. Just stay alive, okay? I guess there's no stopping you, is there? No. Here you go, my friend. May Jesus be with you. Thank you. Good luck.
Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, sure? Yeah, yeah. Did he get you? No. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Make our way up here, then we can make it to the elevator. Then we can make it across the grid there. I know that area. You ready? Let's go. Do you have your phone with you? Will, it's Jared. Listen to me. I need you to come here and pick me up. I thought you were in prison. Will, I'm not getting into this now. Just do it, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Listen, I'm at work right now. I'm busy. Dude, whatever. Just get down here. I only have a few moments. Go. I, I can't leave you. Please, go.
It was dark. I could see everything, but it was dark. But I saw your face. And that's all there was. It was light. I thought I was dying. I thought that was the tunnel. But it was your face. We gotta go for that truck. You mean steal it? Yeah. Hmm, isn't that what got you in this mess in the first place? Funny. Now go to the passenger side, I'm driving.
What is going on? I don't know. We just have to keep going. You can't. They're gonna find you. You have to go back. You don't get it, do you? There is no more they. If this thing has gotten this far, where do you think it stops? Let's keep going. Yeah. Stay in the car. I don't know how far this thing has gotten. All I know is that the only thing between them and the rest of the world is us. Now, we have two choices. The first 
is that we can run and try to find some place safe. And the second is that we find some help and we keep fighting them. Because let's not kid ourselves here. This is a war and I don't plan on losing it. This is a war. Now let's go fight it. radio me. I'll send some upstairs, okay? Miguel, you're starting to get pretty nervous upstairs. I know, but we're trying to do the best we can to. Look, sooner or later, there's going to be more than what we can handle. Okay, this is just my opinion. I think they're hungry. They're running out of food out there and they know we're all gathered here. I don't think we'll be able to evacuate everyone safely. Yeah, I know. Well, we got a plan. I know. Okay, everyone, Jeffrey's just focus. Let's keep it going. Dr. Jeffries, please dial the fourth floor nurses station. Dr. Jeffries, fourth floor nurses station. Dr. Reitman, please dial the operating room. Dr. Reitman, dial the operating room. I have to be honest with you. I don't think this is going to work. Well, I honestly think that we can find a way to eliminate the virus and isolate it. Look, I've been one of these creatures. I've seen what they can do. I don't think this is going to work, but I hope I'm wrong. I hope so, too.
rescue team found a group of survivors from the burned building. They've been trapped there for days. Can you handle them? Well, we don't have a very good burn unit. Franklin Memorial is the best in the country, but they're over 80 miles away. Do you think if we get them there, they have a chance of surviving? We'll never be able to get that far on the ground. Can we use a helicopter? We don't have a pilot. What if we find a pilot? Do you think we can do it? Well, we don't have any guarantee then. But even if you get to Franklin, there's anybody there alive. But they should have enough fuel to make it back if they find it empty or run. That's true. I mean, if you can get a pilot to fly the helicopter there, then I think they might have a chance of surviving. You prep those patients. I'll start looking. The last thing I remember clearly is that I was driving. You just called me to pick you up. I was stopped at a line and I was carjacked. I don't think you were carjacked. Fifty bucks says your car is still sitting where you left it. You were turned. Turned into what? We don't know. But by the looks of it, you were still only a freshie. <laughs> what is a freshie? How did you get out of prison? Uh, I have a lot to fill you in on. It's still there. Interesting. How long do you think it's been sitting here? It's been a few weeks, buddy. In this town? And nobody stole it? Hey, our luck. Let's go. complex, you can take the helicopter to Franklin Memorial. There's enough fuel to make the round trip if you find it empty or overrun. So don't be a hero, just get back safe. basement. They started turning people, friends, other prisoners, the guards, everybody. I stopped, I thought it stopped there, but then, before I realized it, it was everywhere. We had no place to go. We? Yeah. 
me, Rachel, Miguel, my cellmates, everyone, my friends. I mean, we've just been picking people off the street and bringing them back. Where is Rachel now? She didn't make it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, set up a base camp at the hospital. We've been bringing survivors. I mean, we have a lot of good supplies running low. We feel them all, and we'll be able to heal that scar in your face, too. It's not so bad. Yeah, I don't want to get infected. We have plenty of everything at the hospital, so don't worry about it. So, who's in charge of all this? All of what? The hospital, the survivors, the rescue attempts. <laughs> I don't know, me, I guess. Miguel, I, I don't know, man. We've just, just been organizing whoever we can. Bringing them to the hospital, helping the nurses, teaching the guys how to shoot in case they have to. I mean, we set up a backup plan just in case we have to evacuate everyone, but uh, we got a lot of hope building up. It's good. What is this place? I don't know. It's just a parking garage, I guess. It's best we hide out until the coast gets a little bit clearer. Why do we need to hide out? Let's just go straight to the hospital. We can't. I realized a long time ago that these creatures move in groups. They sort of migrate. It's simple, really. I mean, they're easy to escape from. They don't see well. But the problem is, when they travel in groups, it's easy to get surrounded and overrun by them. Remember that. I bit you. Aren't you going to turn into one of them? No. No, I already was one of them. I'm immune. I, mean, I guess. And so are you. <laughs> That's good. No, it's very freaking good. But you can still get torn to pieces, so don't celebrate just yet. So any signs? Nothing. Okay. Just keep watching. If you see anything, hit me on the radio. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Keep still, you have a lot of bandages. So what started all this? What, the creatures? Yeah. I don't know for sure. We think it started in the prison. It's an evil place. A long time ago, this warden by the name of Nathaniel Arlen Steve like nuts killed a bunch of the inmates. There was this big fire and they were burned alive. They never even found all the bodies. I don't know what happened, but those bodies started coming out of the ground. Killing everybody. So I think evil woke up there. And all I know is that we have to stop it. So these things just started coming out of the ground? Seems like it. Wow. Yep. How far do you think this has gotten now? Well, we have no phone. We have no television. We have pretty much no outside communication whatsoever. So we think that this thing has gotten pretty far out there. We should... We should walk around. Just, you know, check that the doors are locked. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. Split up and check these staircases, make sure they're locked. Yeah. Look. Take this. Never shot at that before. Yeah, well.
Dr. Shackner, please dial 234. Dr. Shackner, please dial extension 234. Dr. Raymer, please report to ICU. Dr. Raymer, ICU. Did you get anything on your radio? No, I think we're out too far. What about your cell phone? <sighs> it's like there's no signal. Yeah, there might not be a tower anymore. I think we have a problem. What? Do you see those creatures out there? Do you see how they're moving? Yeah, so? I've been watching them for weeks. And they normally stay in groups. They never move in a pattern like that. Well, that's good, right? I mean, that means we can finally get out of here and maybe avoid them, too. No, it's not good. Why? Because they're heading towards the hospital. How is that possible? I don't know. But we need to warn them somehow. Warn them to do what? To get ready for a fight. They should see that. We have some time before they get us. Stay close.
people. Let's get these people ready. The chopper's in the air in two minutes. Here's the plan. When the rescue team gets here, I'm going to try to clear a path that should give you enough time to escape. Do you hear that car? Let's go. Look! Over there! Okay!
get a few of you guys together. I just want to go out as soon as possible. Hey, you've been out for a couple of days, man. You should take some rest. Now look, I just want to get something to eat, and I want to go right back out. I have an idea, and I think it might save all of us. All right, everyone. Here's the challenge. The idea is to bottleneck them in. We can hold them off well that way. But after that, it's going to spread really fast. So we're going to have to stand our ground until we can push back into the upper levels. But we must hold our ground at each of those positions. We need to give them as much time as we can upstairs to evacuate those patients. Also, the more of those creatures that we can get inside the building, the better this plan is going to work. Get together. Go back out soon. A few days ago, I tracked a small group of the creatures. It was then that I saw someone I knew, an old friend of mine. We have to find him, and we have to turn him back. He can help us figure out what these creatures are up to and how we can stop them. Good, let's go. What are the chances we're going to survive this? Well,. I didn't expect a question like that. Why? Because we've been following you the whole time. You're like Moses to these people, leading us through the desert. I'm not like Moses. I wish we had somebody else leading us, but we don't. I'm just as scared as anyone else, if not more. No one's asking you to be a superhero. You've led us this far. But I believe in you, and I know you can take us to safety. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for you. If anything happens to me, please, get these people somewhere safe. You'll be fine. I got your back. Miguel, I know you promised your mom that you'd never pick up a gun again. It means a lot to me that you stayed here with me. It's not breaking a promise. If I do it to save the life of a friend. I think she'd understand. She'd be proud of you. Thank you. Miguel, it's up to you. If I die tonight, get these people out of here. I will. Good. Let's roll. We started this together. We're gonna end this together. I wish I could return with hope for these people. I wish I could give them what they deserve and what they've been praying for. And all I can do is provide them with questions instead of answers. And I fear that the suffering is far from over. From what I'm told, the Franklin Hospital is well supplied. They're low on food, but they have everything else we need. They've been lucky. The creatures have been moving away from them, so they haven't had a lot of casualties. Do you know why? I don't know. 
pilot said they saw them walking this way. They got worried about us. It's about what I saw on the ground, too. Yeah, 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 we figured that out. Yeah, I know. But the good news is, they convinced everybody at Franklin Memorial to pack up their gear and start heading over this way. So pretty soon, we're gonna have some reinforcements. Did you find her address yet? Good, let's go. Jared, I'm at the address. Are you okay? Yeah. Were you bitten? No. Good. You'll be safe with us. Okay. I know you. You're Ducky's girlfriend, aren't you? Yes. We've been looking for you. And for him. We'll find him. And when we do, we'll turn him back. Just like I was turned back. Okay. Come with us. We have a shelter. We have food and water, a safe place to sleep. We'll be safe. Can we turn him? Good. Do what you can until I can get there. I've been looking for you for a few days. Why me? Because you're the only other person besides me who has been in the basement of the prison. You understand the methods and intentions of these creatures better than anyone. And I need you to tell me everything you saw. I don't understand. We need to figure out how to stop this thing from spreading. You and I are the only ones that know how to do that. Ducky. He's got some cuts and bruises, but he'll be okay. I'm gonna go talk to him. We found this place a few months ago. We realized it was the best place to bring people. We can keep it running on generators in the basement, but we still try to conserve power. We have a few solar cells on the roof, but at least keeps the emergency lights running. There's plenty of food and water to last a while. They were well stocked for hurricane season, which is what's gonna save us. So, how long do you think we're going to last here? A long time. But I'm hoping to end all of this very soon. And what about the military, the National Guard, the Army? National Guard? 
Who knows? It's all fallen apart. For months? You're surprised? Look, it doesn't matter, okay? We're taking care of ourselves. We can't wait for someone to help us. We have to help ourselves. They should be here. It's not their fault. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? A few of the folks here are National Guard or police officers. But as far as they know, their units haven't been activated yet. Like I said, we're taking care of ourselves. Let's go. I'm not sure, but I think they're here for the same reason we all are. For food. You have any idea why? They need to eat. And this is probably a good place for them to get it. Eat flesh? No, not flesh. It's the blood. They need the blood. Yeah. yeah he's right. We haven't exactly seen them eating the flesh, but we have seen them drinking the blood. They remember some things. And they know we're here. The whole fourth floor of this building is a blood bank for the entire region. I think we could use that to our advantage. Typo blood, and you're the only match. I'll be right there. Okay. I got it. What? The blood. It rejuvenates them. It makes them stronger. What can we do with that? We could use that to our advantage. We could lead them to wherever we want to go. As bait. still be turned back. The others we're going to have to take on hand to hand if we have to. I know it sounds crazy, but any defenses we have are only going to last so long. I know. I've seen it. We have to make a stand. We have no more options. We have to make weapons. We have to improvise with whatever we can. We can keep running all you want, but sooner or later, these things are going to catch up with us. If we can make a stand now, we can stop them from spreading. Now, we've come up with a plan, if all of you are willing to follow through with it. If we work together, we can survive the night. Together. Are you okay? Yeah. It's okay, we're all scared here. We just have to stick together. Everyone's saying we won't make it. Let's just focus on tonight, okay? Don't worry. We'll get to see the sunrise together. I'll give you my word.
All right, everybody, listen up. You're going to see all kinds of things that you've never seen before. You're gonna see some that are fresh and some that are rotten. But the fresh ones, you can turn them back. You can knock them down, you can incapacitate them in some way, but they can be turned back. So do not kill them. You should probably take the safety off first. everything but it was dark and I saw your face and that's all there was it was light and I thought I was dying I thought that was the tunnel but it was your face We started this together. We're gonna end this together. Thank you. 
Do you hear it? It's getting closer. How long do you think it'll be before they make it here? Probably another few minutes. We might be able to hold them off long enough until they finish getting the rest of the patients upstairs and get down here to help us. I hope so. So do I. What do we do if they can't get back to us in time? Do we fall back? We can't fall back. Nothing stands behind us except defenseless people. They'll never be able to clear the patients upstairs. I don't think we have very long. I think you're right. It sounds much closer now. They must have broken through the first defenses. Have they crossed the bridge? No, not completely. But our men can't hold them back for much longer. I think we only have a few more minutes before they make it here. How many of them are down? Do you think we have a chance? There's always a chance, Will. Of staying alive? I'm not sure. I see a lot of them. I think more than we expected. We're outnumbered. Badly. <laughs> You're not really sugarcoating anything, are you? If I lied to you, it wouldn't really help the situation now, would it? I guess not. Go to the next position. Let them know what to expect. And tell them I told you that. Be careful. Jared, I'm scared. We all are, Will. No, I, I mean I'm really scared. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I was afraid to tell you. I knew that. We're all scared. I've been through this before, and I'm still scared. A few months ago, everything was normal. I was at home, everything was fine. Now we're here, and it seems like we're in hell. It does. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through the night. You're gonna be just fine. We all are. We have to stay focused and do our jobs. How are you so calm? I'm not. But it helps that I have a responsibility to these people. None of us had a choice to be here, but we are. And all that matters now is that we do our best to get out of here alive. You're right. All right, get ready. They've broken through the first line and our men are falling back. Wait for them to get clear and begin firing. Jared? Yeah. I wouldn't have made it this far without you being here. We didn't always agree on everything growing up and I didn't approve of your life, but we're here now and I'm sorry for everything that I've said. You can tell me when all of this is done. If anything happens to me, I need you to take care of Alexis. I need to be sure that she'll be okay. She will. I promise. Good. Are you ready? Ready. Good. The rest, aim for the head. So we find ourselves here again, huh? <laughs> yep.
they're outnumbered, but I think we can take them. Or we'll die trying. Are you okay? Yeah! Ducky, Shania, move! Go! Go back with everybody else! No, I want to stay with you! No, go now! Can you hear that? It's reinforcements. Okay, everyone, just focus. Let's keep it going. They've broken through. They're everywhere. I have to try to cut them off at the next junction. You're not gonna make it. I have to try anyways. Good luck, go. Jared hasn't gone through yet. He must be overrun. Go! Miguel!